Hi folks. A friend of mine asked me to help her sort out this PCB she's designing in Fritzing, uh, which she's had some problems getting it to pass the design rule check. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to just uh, sort of give you some demonstration of perhaps the mindset of the, of the Zen of PCB routing. So this is the existing design. It's laid out as single sided. and I'm going to keep it single sided for this demo. Um, but when we when we do the DRC, um, I'll just move that off. What we can see here, for example, we've got some tracks that are in different networks. They're not connected, but they overlap. And similarly here. Now, if we're doing this double sided, we could flip this onto the other side or flip one of the nets onto the other side and let them cross that way. Um, but I'm going to try just for sort of the interest to try and keep it single sided and maybe uh, have a bit of economy here as well. Um, I'm going to also going to assume that the network uh, based on the schematic is correct. Though actually I don't think it is and we'll see why at least one mistake that's in, in the network uh, when we come to it. But start off with let's just try and fix some of the routing problems. So the first thing I notice is we have this jumper here, a wire jumper between these two connections. And I really don't like wire jumpers. And one way to avoid this is to use the underside space of this chip to route some of the tracks there instead. So what I'm going to do is just going to kill this. Unfortunately, it kills quite a lot of tracks, but we'll, we'll fill them all back in again. So goodbye. We'll get rid of the jumper as well. And we'll get rid of this track. OK. So let's uh, rewire this power connector into, oops, excuse me, into there. And OK, we just need to put a corner point in there. Don't really like Zen's way, don't really like Fritzing's way of doing corners on tracks, but let's live with it. Um, so now we've got this going this way. We can also then uh, bring this connector. Oops, once again, don't like the way of doing this. Anyway, bring this connector out to the pad that it was previously connected to. And I think this was also connected to this power socket there. So let's just neaten that up as much as it will let me. There we go. Um, now we've got a quite a good situation here. So these are nice and easy just to fill in. Um, so the key point what you just seen is just to use this underside space as a way of making connections that would otherwise not really be possible. Um, fill in these. So I said there was a mistake in the PCB, um, in the layout rather. If I zoom in on this capacitor, in fact, you'll see that there's an air wire between the two connections. This means in the schematic, these two things are connected together. So to make the PCB designer happy, I shall just um, I shall just make that connection like it wants me to. Oops. And then it will at least tick off the, the DRC. Um, what we've got going on here now is um, this was connected to the ground, but it's not connected to the ground on the schematic. So I'm just going to manually bring this over to the ground. And to do that, we have to be a little bit sneaky again. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to bring this out here just to give me a bit more space. Bring that out. Actually, I'll just get rid of that network because it's not really helping me at the minute. Um, and now what we can do is I'd like to route from here down to this pin and then down to this pin, which is what the wiring is showing me to do. But I can't do that because of this loop in the way. But now I've made a bit of space, I can just drag this out to there. Let's put the bends in it just to make the system happy. There we go. And I can also drag a new wire over to here and bend that around on the inside. So now we've filled in the missing connections here. And what we've got left to do is we want to bring this sensor connector. I think it's meant to probably be connected to these wires here. So unfortunately, these external connectors haven't been put in the schematic. So there's no air wires, but Fritzing lets me manually connect them anyway. And now I've got a problem because I've still got some wires crossing. But what I can do is I can route this through the gap in the middle of that resistor and use that as a way of crossing the wire that's going through that resistor without actually having to jump onto the other side of the board. So if I do a DRC now, let's see how things are looking. Oops, do that again. 
So we've only got really one piece of highlighting now, which is, again, it's a net, two nets which are not meant to be connected crossing over here. Um, and again, the solution is to use this space underneath this IC to bring this one round underneath and up to there instead of over the top. So let's just do that. We'll delete the bit that's uh, causing the problems. Yep. Okay. Um, and we'll root. Well, that one's nice and straightforward. So let's just do that. And then this guy. Okay, we're going to root him like that. Oops. But we want to pull him so he's going underneath. Through there, up to there. So, how's that looking on the DRC? Let's just do a design rule check. My sketch is ready for production, it says. Well, I don't think it is ready for production because I think there's mistakes in the design, but at least now the routing is uh, tidy and we've removed uh, we've removed one of the jumpers and we've got something that at least is technically correct according to the uh, according to the design rule check. So that's quite a lot of progress, I think, compared to compared to where we were a few minutes ago. Thank you.